Next constituent of air is oxygen. Now for oxygen's presence, we are going to conduct another activity. In this activity, we have taken two small candles of the same size and we have placed them in the two hollow containers. Now these two hollow containers are filled with water. When you fill them with water, you can see they would appear like this. The next step is you would take two beakers, right? And you will have to place those two beakers on the candles by inverting them. Now these two inverted beakers or you can say glasses are placed. Please observe that one of them is taller than the other. Now let us observe this for some time. You would see that there is no water rising into the glass containers and neither the candles are going off. This is because the glass already had the air present in it and the air contains oxygen which is keeping the candles burning as burning requires oxygen. So that is making the candles burn for some time but it is only in the limited amount because the glass container has been inverted the air will be limited due to which the smaller the candle that has the smaller glass inverted blows out after some time you would find the candle in the bigger glass also blows out because the oxygen present in these glasses was very limited so we can say that after this the water has also risen up that proves that the air has been already utilized, the oxygen has already been utilized by burning into the burning of these candles and once the oxygen was utilized, the space has been now emptied. Now that space has been occupied by the water that was present in the containers, that is why the water into the containers has risen up. So we can conclude that oxygen is present in the air.